Sometimes the way home is longer than anticipated. In the new series, Kat, played by Kyler Lee and her daughter, move in with Kat's mother. But when she returns to her childhood home, Kat finds her decision is not as welcome as she may have thought. Take a look. You know, I, I have to say it really meant a lot that you took the first step to mend fences. Your letter was so touching. Letter? What are you talking about? You took the first step by calling me after all these years. I called because of the letter. Are you really denying sending it? Yes, because I didn't. Mom, it was in your handwriting. Oh, and Kyler joins me now. Good to see you. Thank you. You as well. So I loved this show. Uh, and there's so many things that I love about it. But let's just kind of get into the, the core of, you know, the first episode, which I saw is kind of this tension between you and the mother-daughter relationship. Yes. You and your mother, you and your daughter. Um, just kind of set this show up for us. Well, we, we pick up after a, a pretty big wave of tragedy within the family. Um, and Alice is kind of, my daughter, is, is outside of it. She doesn't really know or understand what the dynamic was between why there was this big falling out between, you know, Dell and Kat. So uh, she kind of slowly comes to understanding once my character is in the midst of like a divorce. It's like a really tough time, lots yeah. of big changes. She gets like this mysterious letter from her mom who's saying, come back home and they haven't spoken in over 20 years. So it's kind of this like, should I, shouldn't I? Yeah. You know what, I gotta have like a brand new path here. So decides to take her back, uh, her daughter back. And like you said, it's very much not like it seemed. Yeah, and, yeah. Just, in, in, and just about life choices and how sometimes it's not always gonna be an easy path, but sometimes that's the way that you learn the most. Absolutely. Um, but also love that Andy McDowell is playing your mom in this show. I love her. love her. She's yeah. such a, a wonderful human being. And, you know, to be honest, I was so intimidated meeting her because she's just an icon and she's yeah. incredible. And, and my very first scene with her, I was so nervous. I actually couldn't remember some of my lines. And then she's just like, oh, honey, it's totally fine. I can't remember mine either. And oh. I'm just sitting there going, this is so this great. Is we laugh. And, yeah. And, yeah. And Sadie, who plays my daughter, is just She's just a star, like inside and out. A lovely, lovely girl who I call my baby bird because yeah. I just, yeah, I love her so much. Yeah. What was it about this script that resonated the most with you? Just like, I mean, you know, we talked before this even started just about how, you know, you can relate to the mother-daughter dynamic and then that, that tension, that, that's a challenging relationship to, to maneuver sometimes. Yeah, and it's a challenging age and a challenging time, especially when you have a disconnect with your teenager in this case. Um, I have three kids. I have um, two daughters, 13 and 16. My son is 19, but like I could relate to that sense of really wanting to be close yeah. to your daughters no matter what. And I just found this script to be so full of heart and I found it to be so different from anything that I had seen on Hallmark before. And yes. what I love is that there's no button at the end of it. There's no kind of pretty bow that's you know tied onto anything yeah. it's just raw and real and and heartfelt yeah well, you, you know you say you love this and you're not like a lot of other scripts you've read you've done some great projects in the past though I mean Supergirl is, is, is available on streaming right now it, there's so much fan love for that show people are still watching it it's, there's yeah. an outpouring of support on social media what does that show mean to you kind of the legacy of that show and being a part of it I'll tell you it's very similar in the sense of just relationships because my character and Melissa Benoist um, you know we're sisters and it's kind of like coming up together and, and discovering these secrets about each other and kind of what, what you do with that within your family dynamic. And yeah. I felt like it was such a wonderful way to show my girls too that you know, at least for my character, you don't have to be a superhero to be super powerful. Yeah. And for them, it was just a really big message. And, and I got to kick butt and I got to do like yeah. really cool like love stunts that. and stuff. So, I mean, all I around. Love awesome. yeah, I love that. I love that. Next time fun. you come back, we're going to talk about some other projects and just the return in season 17 to Grey's Anatomy. But, you know, we'll mm -hmm. get to that next mm -hmm. time. All right. Well, you can catch The Way Home Sunday, January 15th at 9 p.m. on Hallmark Channel.